South Africa is quite a vibrant A2P SMS messaging environment. It's still growing. It's one of the countries where A2P SMS was started uh, or was used first uh, to a large degree by banks and that sort of acted as a catalyst for many industries. One of the areas that is uh, that grew significantly in the last five years is the use by, by apps or specifically communication apps where they use SMSs to connect the phone number to the app once the app is downloaded and many major services like WhatsApp, WeChat are completely dependent on SMS for that setup process. In that way, once you link the app to a specific phone, the, the phone number becomes the identity. So there's really no need for a username and, and password. And we see a lot of potential for growth in the sense that there, there are many smaller apps that still use usernames and passwords. And you could simply use the phone number as the person's identity. We are really uh, thankful of the operators that they created a, a stable environment for service providers like ourselves. Uh, stable pricing, a, f a level playing field. That they had a big problem with grey routes which started around 2005 and then it took them a long time to solve the problem of, of grey routes because at the time they went off the shelf solutions available to, to block these routes. If you're offering a global service, the situation is you've got multiple routes in multiple countries that are constantly being blocked. In a situation where networks implemented uh, SMS firewalls, you've, you've got a stable situation. You've got a situation where all messages are paid for, therefore there's no incentive to block anything. And that makes it worthwhile for companies like ourselves to invest in, in markets, in countries and invest in integrations because we know there is long-term stability in the routes that we use. If one looks at SMS, the reason why it's so successful for A2P is there's very little noise on SMS and the reason why there's so little noise is because of the relatively high cost for the amount of data that's sent and also the shortness of uh, messages and messages are, are traceable. So all those factors count in favor of, of SMS. Any free service has a very high risk of spam or, or noise. Uh, even in a situation where a consumer gives permission to a corporate to communicate with them. If the communication is free to the enterprise, they can abuse it. So even if you have opt-in, there's still the situation where overzealous enterprises could irritate consumers. So I think there is a place for communication medium like SMS, which comes at a relatively high cost where the cost is the filter to reduce noise.